Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Finally, Yi released their first outdoor security camera. There are a lot of you guys have waited for this. I made a couple of videos a while back and reviewed two outdoor cases designed for a drop cam or the older Nest cameras that can fit the Yi home camera. But both of them are now out of stock and I guess they are not manufactured anymore. So, this camera is the answer for those that are wanting the video clarity of the Yi in a weatherproof outdoor design. Let's check out the camera's features. It has a 1080p resolution and records at 20 frames per second. It has a 110 degrees wide angle lens. It is weatherproof, so rain, it is IP65 rated, sun or snow, it has an operating temperature of up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and can go as low as 5 degrees. It has a night vision with 12 infrared LEDs that can reach up to 50 feet. It has a two-way audio and it has a deterrent alarm. Now this is motion triggered and cannot be activated manually. I'll show you later on on how it sounds. It has a 10 feet cable which is in the short side. You will have limited mounting options with this and it uses a highly sensitive algorithms for motion detection. They are not using a PIR sensor but uses the camera's footage plus software in determining if there is a motion activity or not. Now, Yi marketed this camera with their cloud storage which you will see all over the box and their flyer but it doesn't mention anything that it records to a micro SD card also. We will talk more about that later. So let's open up the box. We have a social media information and help card. And we have the flyer for their cloud service. And we have the instruction manual. We have the limited warranty and a mounting template. And a pretty cool window decal. The real safety cannot be taken away. Hmm. Now, on this box, we have Two very small screws. These are the extra screws for the SD card cover. Then we have a small Phillips screwdriver for the little screws. And we have some cable clips, eight of them. Then we have some screws and plastic anchors. Now take note that there are 10 screws and anchors. Then we have the camera itself. It has an off-white color and made of hard plastic. And it's pretty light. It looks and feels durable. It has a screw attachment here in the back. mount and we have the 10 foot USB power cable and it is permanently attached on the camera side then we have the uh, power brick just like their other cameras Output is 5 volts and 1 ampere. Now guys, the power brick and the USB cable plug are not weatherproof. So when installing outdoors, you will need a weatherproof outlet that the cover has enough clearance for the power brick and the USB plug plugged in. 
I think it will in my case and we'll check it out later during the install. Now we have the mounting plate and it is a ball joint so that it can easily be adjusted. Now everything here in the mount is plastic, hard plastic, no metal so nothing to rust. Now let's put in the micro SD card. Take note guys, there is nothing in their paperwork that came with the camera that talks about the micro SD card slot. Just to clarify to anybody that is new to the Yi Home cameras, their cameras have a micro SD card slot and by default records footage to that. The Yi Cloud is an option and can be used as a backup. So, you don't need to subscribe to their cloud service to be able to view recorded videos. Now, with this small Phillips screwdriver, we can unscrew the cover so that we can install the micro SD card. It has a rubber seal on the cover to make this weatherproof. There is also a little button to reset the camera. Now, we just need to put in the micro SD card, push it in until it clicks. Then we, we can replace the cover and screw it back in. As you can see in the front lens of the camera are small holes for the status light on top and I guess the mic on the bottom. Surrounding the lens are 12 LEDs infrared for night vision. These LEDs light up and are visible at night. On the bottom of the camera is the speaker. Now let's plug in the camera and we will set it up. If you are new, download the app and set up an account. If you already have an account, just click the plus button on top. Choose the Yi Outdoor Camera. Click Next. To connect. Click I Heard Waiting to Connect. Then type in your Wi-Fi's password. Click connect to Wi-Fi. Please face the QR code towards the camera lens and wait for it to scan. QR code scan is successful. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is connected. Pairing is successful. Pairing is successful. You can start using your you camera can now. Using your camera now. I'll name the camera Outdoor. Now let's check the live view. It opened up pretty quick and firmware update well let's update and we will get it outside to install now we need to install the mount with four screws by the way remember we have 10 screws and plastic anchors and we have eight cable clips so if we use all eight cable clips that means we only have two screws left to install the camera or he gave us two extra cable clips um, I don't know. Anyways, I unscrewed the ball joint first so that I can install the mount without the camera dangling around. Then, just screw it back in and position the camera and you can lock the position by tightening the screw ring.
As you can see here, 10 feet is just enough to get the USB cable to the outlet. Also, I have this type of weatherproof outlet that has a cover that should have enough clearance to plug in the camera. The camera's plug will stick out at least 2.5 inches out, so make sure you can close the cover to make this weatherproof. Also, on mine, you can lock it with a padlock so that it will be harder to unplug. Now with my wired ring spotlight camera, you can see here that I still have a lot of cable left and it is installed way farther out than the Yi camera. This is not going to be a permanent install for the Yi and I installed it here so that I can just do a comparison video to the Ring Spotlight camera in my upcoming videos. After tucking in the cables a bit, I didn't use the cable clips yet. This is the Yi outdoor setup temporarily. Let's check out the Yi app for this outdoor camera. This is the live view shot when you open the camera in the app. You turn on the speaker so that you can listen. Clicking the gear icon on the top right corner will take you to the settings. We have the status light here where you can turn off the blue light. Image rotation if you want to flip the camera's view. Lens distortion correction if you want to minimize the fisheye effect. We have the camera microphone so that we can hear and listen. We have the night vision on or off, time zone, and the current version of the firmware. On smart detection settings, we have the motion detection. When you turn it on, then other options pops up. We can set the activity region, which basically you can set a zone in which motion will be detected. You can drag and resize. And we have the sensitivity level for the alerts, which you can adjust to low, medium, and high. Then we have the camera alarm. It is only triggered by motion and you cannot manually control it like the ring cameras. Then we have the alert frequency and scheduling of the alerts if needed. Please note that these settings are for alerts only. Motion detection recording is on and always going to be recording as long as there is motion. Now on the live view mode. We already checked out the speakers. And if you want to record a video clip, click the camera icon to record and click again to stop. The footage will be saved in your photos folder. Now we have the mic which you need to push and hold to speak and release to listen. If you want a snapshot of the current video, just click on the still camera icon. Your picture will also be saved in your phone's album. Clicking on the stretched arrow will put your video in landscape mode. Now let's listen to the camera's alarm when it senses motion. You can hear a 3 second alarm and also you'll get a notification. Now let's test the two-way communication. Hey, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm doing good. I can hear you. Try it again. You say hi, Daddy, again. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? It's a little bit low. I'm doing good. I'm just testing out the new camera. Thank you. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? Hi, Dad. How are you doing? A little bit low. 
I'm doing good. I'm just testing out the new camera. Now, here are some footage. This one is late afternoon. 7 o'clock. So it's getting dark outside. And this is a test of the Yi Outdoor camera. Audio and video quality. And this one is at night. This is a test of the Yi Outdoor Camera's night vision. Uh, it has a 12 LED lights that light up the night. So I'm just going to walk around. If you get too close to the camera, I'm about, about three, 3 feet. Three to four feet in front of the camera and you will probably see there's a glare it's my face is washed out I think I'll go around this is probably the the best position right here where you can see me clearly Alright guys, the Yi Outdoor Camera didn't disappoint as to video quality. Footage in daytime is clear and even nighttime is pretty decent. My only complaints will be that it is wired and only has 10 feet of cable. If you're planning to drill a hole in a wall, ceiling, or in the soffit, you'll be needing a bigger hole at least 3 quarters to an inch in diameter to get the USB plug to go through. The other thing I noticed is that the box, packaging, and the instruction manual that came with the camera didn't mention anything about the micro SD card slot and that you can use a micro SD card to record. Seems like they are marketing and pushing their cloud service with this camera. Saying it again, the cloud service is optional and the camera records by default to a micro SD card, which you need to put in. It accepts 8 to 32 gigabytes class 4 and above micro SD card. I'll be comparing this camera with the Ring Spotlight Cam and also with the Yi Home camera that I have installed in an outdoor mount in my upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for product reviews and everyday life hacks. Thank you.